So this video is kind of blowing up and I'm very thankful for it, but it's kind of blowing up in the ways that I didn't want it to blow up. Some of the information in this video is not entirely correct. The changes to Warlock only changed the Curse of Pain total dot damage and to not deal instant damage while the same curse is active. Now, the reason why Warlock is so good right now is because you can just double curse somebody with Curse of Pain and Power of Sacrifice and then run away, basically. Let your team do the rest of the damage, or you can go off and heal if you have Torture Mastery. Or, flip side, you can just blast them with a Meme Beam, Ray of Darkness, and they're dead. Warlock has been easier to play right now because of this one buff, which I do think it's a buff. Some people will think it's a nerf because you just can't constantly curse a pain people, but the way to play Warlock is basically stay the same. You're just gonna curse somebody and then kite the fuck out of them. Now, the, the thing that I was wrong about in the last video was that Curse Mastery does not affect Curse of Pain damage. It only affects Power of Sacrifice. So Curse of Pain is still gonna do 30 total damage now because the buff went from 20 to 30, but Curse Mastery doesn't affect it. So it only affects Power of Sacrifice. So Power of Sacrifice's stats is they deal three magical damage per second to the target while increasing their strength and vigor by 15 for 12 seconds. So that one will do extra damage if you have Curse Mastery on. So using Curse Mastery and Power of Sacrifice, you go from 36 damage to around 47-ish damage. So in this case, using Power of Sacrifice is gonna heal you more and output more damage, but they're gonna have 15 strength and 15 vigor for around three to four seconds longer. That's me right now after I stroke it for an hour straight. Hold on, I, I gotta heal. To get, I need to get to the wizard. I gotta heal. I gotta heal. No, I need to get to the wizard. Let me I out. Gotta heal. I gotta Let heal. Ow, I need to get to the wizard. Please. I have to heal. No, wizard, I need to get to you, I promise. Hey, there's no wizard on this team. There's no wizard on our team. Warlock. I need to get to the warlock. I need to heal. Alright, never mind then. I'm not giving him these. I'm not giving him the mystic gloves that are purple. Oh, purple mystic gloves? Get the fuck out the way. I need to heal. <laughs> You're just oh, making it take longer. Oh. oh hey. <laughs> I, I don't even have any. <laughs> Mother Fluffer, I'm going to slap <laughs> you. I need to heal. Now, everything else in the build is gonna stay the same. We're still gonna use Curse of Pain, Ray of Darkness, Bolt of Darkness, and Curse of Weakness. But this time, for this revamped video, I'm gonna say that we're just gonna use Soul Collector 100% of the time over Curse Mastery. Without using Curse Mastery, you're still doing that 66 damage with Curse of Pain and Power of Sacrifice. And then with Curse Mastery, you're doing about 77 damage total with Curse of Pain and Power of Sacrifice. Now that's only about a 10 damage increase. Whereas if you're using Soul Collector and you've gathered all your souls, you're doing 100% more dark magical damage. The great thing about that, which I didn't explain in the last video, is Ray of Darkness deals 12 magical damage per second to any target the beam touches. And that means if you have 5 soul shards, you're doing 24 magical damage a second. You can absolutely shred anybody that has no magical protection. Now this build does basically shred pretty much anybody. I mean, I probably wouldn't give power of sacrifice to a bear or I wouldn't give it to anybody that my teammates are fighting unless I really wanted to kill them. But the one counter to this build is gonna be clerics running perseverance. Now perseverance reduces all incoming damage by two. So it means everything that you put on a cleric that does dot damage that will tick over time is reduced by two damage. So you're just doing a lot less damage to that cleric. Now the gear is going to basically stay the same. We're still going to focus on getting Lightfoots with additional move speed or move speed bonus. Move speed bonus is a little bit cheaper. If you only get those, you can stay the under 25 gear score bracket. But other than that, you get loose trousers with either extra agi or extra health. Extra health is a little bit cheaper than extra agi. You get Mystic Gloves with extra health, and then a Blue Shadow Hood with either Agi or extra health. Really, we're just going to be focusing on getting agility. With this build, you can see that I've gotten to 315 move speed, and that's with only basically loose trousers and a good light foot. And then you don't necessarily need a spell book. You don't necessarily need a spell book. If you're going to get one, I would probably put max health on it and debuff duration. That's probably the, one of the best rolls you can get on it for this type of build. 
but you don't necessarily need one. You can just run a squire spellbook and then you can put rings like a ring of quickness or, or a ring of vitality. Anything that will either increase your move speed or your health. And that's the build. Sorry about some of the information in the last video that was a little bit misleading, but this one should do better justice. Anyways, I appreciate you guys so much for blowing that last video up, but hopefully this one does a little bit more justice in giving you guys the right facts. If you enjoyed the video, consider hitting that subscribe button. It does help out small channels like me. I mean, you guys blew up that last video and I loved it. And if you want to get some Twitch drops, I will be live today when this video posts on either YouTube or Twitch. You don't have to stay till the end of the video, but the rest of the video is going to be commenting on the Warlock gameplay and how to play Warlock right now. But if you got this far, thanks for watching. So here we have like some solo gameplay. I'm going to try and do some live commentary over it. This is kind of an example of if you can hit your shots, which I cannot, you will absolutely melt somebody. Somebody as weak as this, like a ranger with no health and no magic protection, will just absolutely die to both of your curses. I only have one curse on him here, but he's still ticking for a lot of damage. One bolt of darkness, miss a second curse, miss a third curse. Hit that one and he's immediately dead. This next clip is basically the same example. This guy is a warlock and he has some divine magic protection. But even against a warlock, it's just a battle of who can hit their curses first. We both hit Curse of Pain there. He misses the second one. I power of sacrifice myself, just make myself stronger. I power of sacrifice him, hit him once. He should be dead here. And I don't notice it at first, but in the top right, he does die. And there he is, dead right there. I didn't even have to engage him after that. I hit him once, cursed him twice, and he ticked down. Guys, there's people on me, help! I'm coming. So the reason I aim for the legs is because if you hit a shield like that, you won't hit them. Miss the strength, make myself uh -oh. stronger. There, I hit it. I cursed you twice. I'm dead. Why did you curse me? I'm dead. You're still yes, yes, you are the worst player ever. Miss the curse again. No, I'm not a bitch. He has a horse on Zach, that's an easy parry. There's the curse, and here's a five stack beam beam. He almost one shot me. This absolutely shreds him, but unfortunately, I can only hit him in the leg. They went up to the tower. Yeah, two of them went up in the tower. There's one guy right there. Oh, never mind. That's a whole different team. Hey, chat, you might want to run away from this. I could not beam him, beam him. Fireball through the wall, bro. So if you have Hellfire, you can throw it through walls. Like I'm trying to get him to throw the, the, the Hellfire yeah, through the wall, and maybe it will splash somebody. Can you kill the base skeleton? But when Dude, you're fighting a druid, top priority is to get at least them. one curse off on them. Because if they yes. transform into any other person besides a human, yeah. they'll tick for so much more. Here to Oh, go rain! Go rain! Nice. That's all, isn't it? Yeah, that's all of them. Alright, now you gotta res me first, because I was clearly more helpful. Well, you're also right next to me, so I'm going to res you first. Especially if you use, like, uh, yeah, blue, yeah, blue yeah. potions or blue bits. Oh, yeah. If you use, like, blue shit, then you're, like, There's people there's by the way. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they're sinking. They might be flying. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're fighting. Third parties as Warlock are actually I'm completely playing with, like, broken. Barbarian and they already have you third party anybody as a Warlock, you can just... I'm gonna open this. You can just curse all of them. Run run away. Me, yeah, 
Um, one guy dead on the ground. I see that they're running like northwest. It's a wizard. He's drinking potions right now. Another guy to our right. We're gonna go for the guy on the right. Yeah, he is, he's in the if you get somebody trapped like this and separated from their team, always take the opportunity to kill them. Yeah, that's off. Yeah, he's cooked now. Yeah, you're cooked now, buddy. He said twice. Oh, he blocked that shit. He said again. He should be like low as fuck. Uh, his wizard came. Careful. Alright, I'm trying to chase. Warlock versus Wizard is probably your best matchup. I'm behind the Wizard right now. Super easy to melt a Wizard as a Warlock. You just have to make sure you hit the curses. Another Wizard, I'm running up behind him. Headshot. Watch out, Fighter coming in. Hit the Fighter once. Fighter twice. Three times, dead. I gotta push back, I gotta heal. Yeah, I'm trying to run up behind him a little bit. Fuck if he gets up. Any chance you can to Ray of Darkness so while nice. one of the that opponents is not really paying attention to you, take it. Sigma fight. Dead over here? I want this shit. That Ray of Darkness shreds anyone in this game. Walk past you. Yeah, they're, 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 they're not fighting anybody. Yeah, I don't they're think. fighting they're mobs, mobs, dude. It looked like they were fighting a team at the door. Oh, this My guy's still over here. Let's fight this guy. Let's fight this guy over here. So this team didn't really know what they were doing. My I'm wizard on teammate on hit one guy like four times in a row. Oh, you walk. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's fine. I got. Okay, no, that's that's one. bad timing. There's one. Yeah. Hit one fireball. There's two. Hit one ice bolt. All right. There's three. These kids are bad. There's four. four. One dead. Nice. I'm gonna run up on him. He just. Oh, okay. another two. Beam beam goes out, slows down the fighter, he can't catch up. dead. I'm healing, I gotta heal up. I got hit by a fucking ball sack thrower. Can somebody kill that ball sack thrower? I hate those things, bro. They're the most annoying piece of shit ever. I need to... Oh, they're fighting troll. Or Cyclops, my bad. Hear it? Yeah, I heard him fighting it. Alright, you can kill that spider now. I destroyed the, uh, thing. I'm actually completely throwing here by missing all my curses. But as long as you get a curse or two curses... Did I hate the fucking hide thing? Then you can just heal everything back that you fucked up on. Best trait about one you can make some mistakes and get away with it. Gonna hit me. Beam like, beam absolutely shreds one of them. I'm really yeah, low here. The rain, the rain, the rain, the rain, the rain, Probably should have backed off. Kill the spider on the ground. Your, if that ranger hit his headshot, I, I would have been dead. Oh shit! All right. It's always good to know when to back that off and heal. Hard. If you have some downtime, always take some time to back off and heal. You're by yourself, Barb. All right. It's all good. I'm Sigma like that. I got like 190 health. No, I'm yeah. I got 194 health. I'm not even kidding you. Fucking the tank right now. He's opening that. You can try to use your freaking. I've double cursed the warlock here. And this is where I turn into a WP barbarian. Trying to get that kill, but he's I'm just one. too fast. I'm dead. I died to a wall spike, which is crazy. I heard my teammate die and came back. I definitely so jumped over it, but whatever. Fight off this. They're one. There's a skeleton champion right here. I say I'm just gonna close the door, man. I need to heal. The right, warlock ready. ran. Right. I don't know if you heal, grab my kit, you can res. Yeah, I got that. Yeah, they didn't really group the, the Cyclops. I kind of need the Skeleton Champ to heal. Alright, no worries. But luckily the I Ranger really the engages. The, oh, shit, he's right here. Oh, my shotgun. Oh, he missed all of his shotgun shots. He's cooked. They don't move because he's dead. Oh my god. He just missed all of his shotgun shots. He got fucked by that. I'm not gonna lie. If he hit that, I probably wouldn't have taken it. I probably wouldn't have 
died though. I'm like 200 health. <laughs> he literally just has I've, I've died to a shotgun in bear form. Dang. You die very easily yeah. to that shotgun he blast, even in a bear form. All, all, uh, I think it's five of those hit you. I think the other bow, guy might I be guess. Raising. You're dead. Possibly. That's what I think you're doing. Nope. Um, I have his shit. You wanna just... Oh, these are some pretty best boots. Holy fuck. Yeah, I, I told you. Speed. I told you. <laughs> yeah, we can, we can res him. The thing's not taken. Hey, don't buddy him. He's an alpha. Hitting you up, Chad. Getting you up. Man. See, I knew that fucking range you was low. When you res somebody, always bring them yeah, their weapon. Broken that thing's kind of popping off. Though. You can have a team that pop might, up on you, and if you don't, if you have a teammate that doesn't have a weapon, you're down a player yeah, basically. Wasn't able to grab all of your stuff. Nah, you're good. You, you got pretty much all of it. Dude, I'm sad I didn't get to kill that oh, warlock, oh, oh, dude. Now, unfortunately, we do get pinched pretty hard another here. Team, another team. Oh my god! I can. <laughs> oh, that's yep, that's so unfortunate, dude. I'm gonna die. I'm dead to curses. That is very unfortunate. Wow. Yeah, that's you can see that curse completely shredded me. One hit, and it just curses, and I was dead. Completely I think I'm gonna curse you. Yeah, I'm gonna get us guys. Right here, right here, north, north, north. The druid. Let's see if I can get a double curse on him. The guy has no headphones. I'm pushing right away. Oh, how did I miss that? Not bad. Here I'm using the meme beam so I slow him down, preventing him from getting any hit on him. That ray of darkness also slows down people. But you see a barbarian W keying for your teammate, just ray of darkness. No way he's on me now, that's crazy. Alright, no anyways, I'm coming. I'm uh, healing, let me know if you need me. Hey, what, bitch? Just wait, can you get up here? You know? This is some bullshit. Alright, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I just took his meds, I didn't loot with anything else. Yeah, I just took the meds from people, I didn't loot. Oh, this motherfucker's on me again. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die to this motherfucker. <laughs> Trying to take a girl, but he wants your dick. Thank you guys. Oh, I have no spells in there. Yeah. Uh, team is west. 
where Thorns where we came. Let me have his aggro. Nope, he want, doesn't want you. Oh my. What the hell did this thing? Oh my, I'm so dead. No way, what is the chances of that fire? Uh, yeah, fighting a team with that thing around is like impossible. We were all half health too. Hey, if you made it all the way to the end, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing and following me on Twitch.